Hey, Rapper Jake here. Today, I'm joined by Justin from Velvet Robot. How's it going, Justin? Oh, man, just living the winter dream. Trying not to freeze today. <laughs> right up here in oh, Northern cool. Illinois. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so uh, we currently are not in Velvet Robot for uh -huh. reasons we will get to later. But uh, when we did your first video, you guys had just opened up. Yeah. here inside of Indoor City Market, and some things have changed since then, so uh, give me the rundown. Yeah, I think when we first talked to you guys, however long ago, we didn't have any type of food, uh, which is purposeful. We knew we wanted food. We already had the menu done, but just because we didn't want people's first impressions of our food to be to go. Right. Because you don't know, you know, things, yeah. some things, eggs don't travel well, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, now we got the full food menu. We're actually on our second one. Um, we got some new things from the first time. Uh, yeah, like we have a brisket sandwich that people are in love with and they're always like, is this a coffee shop? You guys have a brisket sandwich? And we're like, I've had it. It's amazing. Oh, man. Like, kind of yeah. Every time I'm here, I'm always like, should I get that sandwich? I'm like, no, no, don't always eat like mountains of cheese <laughs> and beef and barbecue sauce. It's delicious. Yeah. So I think yeah. that's part of us is what we want to do in the beginning was just kind of break that stigma of, you know, scones and muffins and the things that you know are at a coffee shop yeah. um, and provide you with chef inspired chef cooked food that's awesome you know right. i love when people have that reaction they're like wow this is here and i'm like absolutely yeah uh, yeah and i've had a few of the items and like everything has been yeah super delicious and then we started catering so like today we got a catering order going out um which has been pretty cool too um just to see that people like it so much that they want to share it with people that they work with so, yeah or different things that we've done so far so yeah i think that's going really well um, we'll probably do another uh, food menu for spring, um, but like we just put on soup and a bunch of stuff like that. So yeah, if you guys haven't had the, the food yet, you need to come check it out. It's, it's pretty much. Yeah, it's, it is it's well much. done. Uh, our chef Mezzi really cares about everything he puts out. So That's awesome, man. Yeah. And so uh, there is a very specific reason why we are in this big yeah. hall inside of Indoor City Markets. Uh, what's coming up, man? Why yeah. are we up here? So when we first envisioned Velvet Robot, we knew we wanted to be more than just a coffee shop. Uh, we knew we wanted to host events and concerts and have DJs come and do all these things. And one of the biggest things that's a passion of my heart is comedy. And I used to do comedy in Chicago. I've done comedy here. Uh, and I have a friend who we just really work well together. He's a really good writer. He worked for Second City. Um, and we just were like, hey, it's time for people to laugh. Uh, yeah. This has been some, some dark times and we know that we can. And so we reached out to the market and we're like, hey, you guys want to do like a collab and you guys let us use the space. And they were all for it. So yeah, and March 13th, we'll be hosting a comedy show called The Lockdown Turns One, because that's the lockdown's <laughs> birthday. Perfect. Uh, with kazoos and hats and all those fun things. And yeah, it's just a sketch comedy show, a little bit of variety. We're going to have a DJ come. Um, my buddy's going to come do some magic, which I'm excited for. Super cool. Just you have friends who do magic, you make them do magic. And so <laughs> right. yeah, we did it. It's 10 bucks. We're not trying to make money off it. It's just one of those things where it's like, I know that there's a need in this city for some light enlightenment and we know we can bring that. So this is like our first event, but yeah, we hope to do more um, as the mitigations and the world gets a little bit back to normal. Right. Obviously COVID is. Yeah. That's little, always looming over our heads. So yeah, we'll see how that, how and, that works. And, but And you can see this is a massive room. We'll probably have 50, 75 people, very socially spaced. It's going to be a safe, you know, good night for everybody. Good night for everyone. Yeah. yeah and the absolutely. market will be catering alcohol. So there will be booze. So, Fantastic. The more you drink, the funnier we are. We always say that. So, <laughs> yeah, I, I'm really, I'm, I'm very excited for it. I think it's going to be really fun. That's so, awesome. You said that's coming up on March? March 13th. 13th. Yeah, we're going to start selling tickets next week at Velvet Robot. Um, it will be first come, first serve because of COVID. We don't have that many spaces. But right. if we sell out the first show, we might do another one at 9. So, because it'll be at 7 o'clock. Awesome, man. Yeah, another cool thing, too, is like we have like Lenore coming, uh, which is like a local up-and-coming clothing brand. They're going to have some pieces. We might have an artist like to display some art. It's just, I want it to be a collective of people who just come and can show off what they have. I think it's going to be really neat. Yeah, that's fantastic, man. And uh, speaking of really neat, you have some other up and coming news here oh, yeah. for this summer, right? Like, yeah, summer, maybe. And VR late, squared. Late spring. Take two. Yeah, take two. <laughs> uh, we thought we had something locked up in Roscoe and then it just kind of all the terms changed and it didn't work out. So it goes in business. But we uh, we have something that's pretty solidified. Uh, our second location will be opening May or June. Awesome. So, yeah. It's and that's going to be part coffee shop, part like collab. Like yeah, so working it's, space. Yeah, so too. what eventually we wanted to work it into it's two two levels. Okay. So the top level will be mostly um, coffee shop, but it's going to be way bigger than this space. So we're going to have like 
like more arcade machines. We're gonna have ton like bunch of hand chairs. It's gonna be a vibe. Yeah. Kobe, Kobe Bryant mural. Like it's just gonna be dope. But then downstairs, there's totally all these office spaces. And so we thought like, all right, let's. How do we make a collab for Rockford that's fun and cool and that people can want to come to? Because I think the one thing we learned from COVID was people don't need the office anymore. <laughs> right. Um, right. So we want to create something that's very low. Um, cost and it's actually going to be free for nonprofits to use too, Fantastic, which is huh? any nonprofit can come and be a part of it for free. So again, it's it's kind of tapping into that. How do we do better things for the community? How does it help us? How does it help them? You know, and really, how do we create a space for like everyone and anyone to feel welcomed and a part of? And that's just the next step in that. So fantastic. Well, yeah. for everyone that's interested in checking out the, the items on the menu, getting tickets and finding information out for your upcoming event on March 13th, or just to stay up to date with all the things coming this May, June, like where do they go to, well, to you get can, in touch with you? That's a new thing. We're also on DoorDash <laughs> all um, right. and we're starting our coffee on DoorDash next week. Um, but you can, uh, www.velvetrobotcoffeelab.com has our full menu, has our coffee offerings and everything you'll need. And then follow us on Instagram because we always post delicious pictures of food. So. <laughs> absolutely, man. Well, thanks so much, Justin, oh, yeah, for taking time to get together and for chat. Sure. And congratulations on all the new amazing things coming oh. out of Velvet Robot. That's super exciting. A big shout out to all of our business sponsors and our backers that make content like this possible. It's because of their support. I'm able to chat with lovely gentlemen like Justin here and bring you all the positive stories from our local small businesses in the 815 and beyond. So thanks so much to them. And we'll catch you on the flip side. Bye, Rockford.